Yeah, um, not exactly authentication, uh, but uh, protection nonetheless, and happening at the uh, the network layer. Um, uh, but we have to be careful a bit. Um, and uh, what we're talking about here is the virtual private network. Now, uh, as soon as you say private, you know, VPN, virtual private network, um, people immediately think of privacy and therefore confidentiality. And, and so this is protection against confidentiality. Therefore, this is encryption. Now, that may be true. And, and I mean, by and large, these days, with VPNs being so, sold um, to individuals in, into the retail market, um, yes, probably, probably, uh, they are going to have uh, encryption functionality. However, um, not necessarily, because that is not actually what a, a VPN is. VPN um, is probably better described by its other name, uh, which in all but the uh, computer virus stealth area um, is uh, tunneling virtual private network because um, what you are doing with a virtual private network it is not necessarily private in terms of confidentiality but rather private in terms of management that you are able to manage network traffic um, that is traveling over a public network as if it were private as if it were uh, your own network. But that is, as I say, just in terms of the management. It is not um, required to have encryption on a virtual private network. And, and so, you know, it, it's quite possible that even on a lot of the, the retail market stuff um, that is being sold to people, is not doing anything for them, not protecting them in any way, because, um, it, you know, it, technically, encryption is not required. And, you know, it's, it's, the man, it's a management tool. Um, now, uh, have to be careful, because, yes, as I say, you know, a lot of people are going to have it, but... Uh, for example, one of the major um, uh, protocols um, is MPLS, multi-protocol label switching, uh, and and that is that is completely um, based on on the management of the network. You are you are managing your traffic as if you own the network, even though you are traversing in at least one section of it over the public network. Um, and you may have uh, multiple remote offices and you manage everything as if you had a, your own local private network. Uh, sorry, local area network. Um, so you, you are, you know, doing the management on a fairly easy basis. Um, but it's, it's not required. MPLS does not have any encryption capability at all. It, you know, the functionality just doesn't exist. So um, you need to be aware of this and, uh, you know, be aware of what it provides and, and what it doesn't provide, as, as with so many security tools that... Uh, you have an idea of, of what it should provide, but technically is that, you know, necessary and, and the vendors, of course, take advantage of this. You think that it's providing encryption. They know it's, it doesn't, but technically they can sell it as a VPN. You need to, you need to know as, as much, if not more, uh, than the vendors you are buying stuff from. Uh, so... 
be aware of that. Anyways, uh, virtual private network and tunneling, as I say, except for the uh, virus stealth uh, situation, the, the terms basically are identical, mean the same thing. Um, that's what you have it. So the... Uh, uh, this is a, uh, a means of management. It's, it can, because you know, so much of, of security is about management, um, you can get security benefits out of a virtual private network without uh, encryption on it. Just be aware of you know, what you have, uh, what you need, what your security requirements are. Um, I mean, uh, a virtual private network uh, with just the management functions and, and no encryption does assist you with availability. Um, so, you know, again, you know, it will do that type of, of security for you. And uh, if it does have an encryption uh, function in it, then yes, it will, you know, provide that if you turn it on. So make sure that you know what you need, uh, what, you know, uh, what is, uh, what your security requirements are, what the tool provides, make sure there's a matchup. And if there isn't a matchup, you know, possibly look at either another tool or uh, an adjacent tool that is going to add some of the functionality that you need that this tool doesn't have. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave that there.